Hey there guys and welcome to a brand new promo in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. Headliners should now be out in FIFA 21. So let's actually turn on my PS5 controller and we're good to go. Firstly guys, I want to say massive thank you for the support. Oh, oh wow, oh wow, as if that's just happened, yeah. Wow. Oh damn, this must be a hype promo. Okay, right. Let's try and load this door. The store is down. <laughs> right, I'll reload FIFA. We'll see what cards are now in Ultimate Team. Anyway, as I was saying, guys, massive thank you for all the incredible support for, uh, obviously, the announcement yesterday, guys. We are having a baby, and I cannot believe that, A, you know, how life-changing that news is. It's absolutely incredible. And the support, man, phenomenal. So thank you guys for that. Right, we can't see any of the cards. Um... My controller is having a madness. Let's get it. Right, we're back on. There you go. Should be fine. Cool. Right, store is working. Right, what have we got? We have lightning rounds. Okay. We'll see then if we can pack any of these headliner players. At the same time, I'm going to check EA Sports, their tweet. Right, oh my god, this is actually a pretty stacked headliners um, promo. Oh damn, there's some sick cards. We're getting informed, no one else there. Right, guys, as you can see on the uh, video right now, I'll open this pack at the same time. Here are the promo cards. So, let me know your thoughts on these guys regarding the headliner cards. There is Ben Yedder, Bruno Fernandes, Yao Felix, Zahar. Remember, I believe these cards are dynamic, and I think if they, if any of these cards get, for example, three wins in a row in real life, they'll then get upgraded. So they really are interesting cards for me. I think for me, like overall, it's a much better promo than, for example, ones to watch. I mean, look at that Yao Felix card, man. Damn, you guys are right. Yao Felix has got his uh, headliner card. Let's go. What a card. If we can pack him on the road to glory, that will be awesome. Right, there isn't many um, packs left, I believe, from these. We'll have a look. Also, icon swaps objectives should be in FIFA. So, oh wow, 4,000 remain. Damn, this is a high promo. Look at that. Bruno Fernandes is going to be very expensive, guys. No walkout yet at all from any of these. I'll hurry up on mine so I can hear the, uh, you know, FIFA pack actually, you know, being opened with the uh, sound there. Right, let's have a look. It's still not expired. Okay, it might have expired. They went very fast. In two minutes on PS5, those packs have gone. So, at the same time here, guys, we'll have a look um, at the objectives and icon swap, you know, new objectives, all that stuff. Um, we've got 164 packs saved for Team of the Year. Right, we'll open 15 of these, try and get ourselves our first headliner. Maybe we will. Fabinho would be a great shout potentially to invest in. Um, to be honest, oh, to be honest, Zhao Felix might be a great shout in terms of players that might get three wins. Ben Yedder, guys, is back in FIFA. Look at those cards. Bruno Fernandes, you want to get Fabinho? Obviously, would be great to get. Zhao Felix, Zahar might be a shout, but hard for them to get three wins in a row. Bamba's got a nice card. Thoughts on these cards selected? What are we saying? Right, let's um, quick sell them. I'll open the next one as well. Let's see, let's see how the FIFA community is reacting to this new promo. Um, oh, wow. Oh, my God. I've just seen something crazy. Oh, my God. Right. There is apparently an objective for icon swaps that you've got to win weekend league games. Oh, God. Um, that is a bit insane. What the hell? Okay. Um, also, I think there's some flashback cards. Right, let's get into it then. We get an inform. 84 rated, guys, as well. Um, 616 coins. So we might need to play more icon swap games, right? Like for weekend league. Sorry, weekend league games for icon swaps. That might be a thing. Walk out, be headliner. What is this? Italian centre-back. It's going to be Cialini. It's now impossible to be Benucci, I believe. So, 87 Benucci, guys. Mendy. 
I saw a transfer rumour today that apparently Chelsea are going for Donnarumma. Was that is, that, is that true? Like, Mendy's good, isn't he? Isn't Mendy like a really good goalkeeper right now for Chelsea? He was in my fantasy football team. I think he said Liz actually Mendy. Right, um, we get Nolan there. Maybe we can get a headliner player in this big pack opening today, guys. Hopefully, we'll get some phenomenal cards. Zhao Felix, or Yao Felix, who's on this pack. I'm still trying to get his name pronounced right. Okay, we get Nolan there. Let's go, man, though, in this FIFA 21 headliners pack opening. Bruno Fernandes is going to be very expensive. Honestly, that's going to be a very pricey card. We'll have a look at what SBCs are out as well. Hoping that we get some upgrade packs to grind this week. That'll be awesome. Have I just skipped an icon pack? No, okay. Rodrigo. <laughs> I thought I saw the flares there, man. Oh my god. Right, we go again. Premium goal player pack here, guys. Let's go. Go on, EA. No walkout, we skip it. Are there any mad headliner objectives? Royce! Let's go, man. Love to see it. That is class. We go for eight more of these promo packs. So we've got one walkout from about, what, 17 promo packs today. I am wondering, is Team of the Year now going to be like mid Jan no, late January? There's a lot of talk, guys, about Team of the Year. I did do my Team of the Year prediction today. Not going to lie, that video is meant for tomorrow. However, it's gone live early. So hopefully you guys enjoy it when live early today. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out, guys. But in terms of Team of the Year, right, considering that this is Team 1, Obviously, next week will be Team 2. Then I'm thinking it'll be Team of the Year nominees, then Team of the Year. That means that we could be getting Team of the Year uh, 22nd of January. Yeah, 15th of January, guys, is a Friday. 22nd to Friday, obviously. So, yeah, we might be getting Team of the Year, guys, later than normal. I think we might be, honestly. I mean, that might be a good thing. We've had a lot of content over the last few weeks and, like, months, so... You know, I don't mind waiting a bit longer for Team of the Year. We think have just got uh, Hakimi, who I don't think is exactly, you know, super valuable. Look at how slow the servers are right now, guys. I would definitely avoid for champs. We are 3-0 in Weekend League. I'm actually pretty thrilled with that. My third game on stream today was down 2-1. Marcus Rashford, who we did pack on my Road to Glory, the 88 Red Inform version of Rashford. Um, he was clutch and... Helped us get a 5 to win extra time was a nuts game. But yeah, the gameplay was slow then. Like, it felt a bit slow. Again, if you don't know what this tip and trick is, guys, very big tip for you on PS5. I'm getting a hell of a lot of input delay still on Weekend League in on the PS5 version of FIFA. Literally switch the game version to PS4, and I'm telling you the gameplay is a lot better. Seriously. Big tip for you guys on PS5. Right, three more packs, man. Let's see what we get. And then we'll have a look at the new objectives. We are doing a FIFA 21 headliners pack opening in Ultimate Team today. Go on, EA. Italian centre-back. That might be Benucci, actually. It's a, a Kirby. Right, seriously. Just just, just disgraceful pack right there. <laughs> That's not a good pack. Right. These are the good packs, though, in Team of the Year, right? When we seem to grind these packs from SBCs, they always come in clutch for Team of the Year. Definitely would advise doing these packs, guys for Team of the Year. If you guys have saved any packs for Team of the Year, how many packs are you going to get in Team of the Year? Do let me know. Also, that's a phenomenal um, like concept design there from a man Casper on Twitter. Great uh, graphic designer. How good is that Rafinha card? Right, wrong screen. There we go. Let's get it. Go on. Go on, EA. Bang. Let's make this a very special day with the headliner cards in Ultimate Team. We do not get a headliner yet. Maybe in, you know, an SBC pack. That'd be pretty cool. Right. Diop and then 1.5k. Right. We have got some big... We've got some big packs ready for Team of the Year, man. Okay. Um, let's have a look then, guys. For the um, SBCs first. Then we'll get into objective. So, oh. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Five-star skills for Iron Robin. FC Groningen. Van Dijk's former team, right? And obviously Robin's former team. No, Robin's team now, actually, sorry. Um, and former team as well. Five-star skills? It's amazing. I would disagree that he didn't deserve five-star skills. I'm going to go with that. I'm sticking by that. But still, 
I'm not complaining in terms of FIFA. I definitely think that's amazing for FIFA. Weak foot, we all know how much Robin loves his left foot. But yeah, that's amazing. I would always say he's a four-star skiller to a T. I wouldn't have said five-star. Um, I think that's the only SBC today. Wow. A new promo and only one new SBC. That's a bit shocking, isn't it? Wow, okay. So Iron Robin is out, which is great. Um, what is the price of his uh, 85 you can probably grind that if they re-release upgrade packs. So I'd maybe wait, guys, until Sunday when EA do release a, um, yeah, like a new, uh, like a new upgrade packs. Right, we have got a new kit as well to uh, to add to the club. There, that is awesome. Okay, brilliant. Right, so we've only got one SBC today. That's a bit of a letdown, in my opinion. But I mean, I thought we might have got it. You know, some kind of. Um, Oh, I guess we'll get upgrade packs on Sunday. It seems like we get upgrade packs now, guys, on Sundays, isn't it? So that's always a dub. So yeah, Iron Robin, is that the right rating? I think maybe 84 would have been amazing for that card. Um, but I think for now that'll do. Uh, right, at least not 86. So objectives then. Icon swaps. Tokens. We have this card. Matthias Cunha there from uh, Hertha Berlin with that card. To be honest, if you have like Anderson Taliska as well, and maybe like, maybe Neymar, maybe Bobby Firmino or Fabinho CDM or something like that, that could be, Alan even, that could be a really good card to get. Um, yeah, that might be a great one to get relatively easily as well. Um, that seems pretty good. Assist a goal with a through ball using, cool. That seems like a good card to grind. I might get that myself on the road to glory. That's a good card. I reckon that's good. If he's got a five-star weak foot, that could be amazing, actually. Um, right. Icon swaps. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, my God. Win 18 weekend league matches. Right. That is interesting. So, oh, my God. How many squad battle games? Oh, my God. That is a lot of squad battle games. Guys, I played like... How many games? I played a lot of squad battle games this week, guys, to get the... Uh, I got the icon top packs done, but, like, oh, my God. So, there are six tokens. Um, I think, is that... Hold on. How, am I right in saying that there's seven tokens to get, or am I wrong? I might be wrong on that one. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. Am I missing one here? Oh, no, there you go. Right, there you go. Got it. Right, so... One, two... There's ten tokens left. Okay. Now, I have redeemed um, the five tokens and three tokens on both accounts. So, I've got ten tokens to get. So, maybe this can help you guys out, you know, if you're struggling to decide. So, for me personally, right, ten tokens to get. I am thinking the base... Surely the base or mid icon pack, right? I might do that on both accounts. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. I mean, you could always go for Vidage, but I mean, yeah. Guys, let me know on this video if you guys are going to save your tokens for the base or mid icon pack. That's 10 tokens. Um, but yeah, they are the new icon top tokens there to get. That might take a while to get quite a few of those, obviously. Right, SBCs. Let's uh, have a look at some of the prices of these players. So... Let's have a look at uh, Bruno Fernandes here. See if they've updated the... Um, what am I doing there? There you go. See if they've updated the uh, card filter. Have they done that? They haven't at all. Okay. I'll go for special and then literally, what, at least a million, right? There you go. So he's already on the market. I mean, what a card. That's a... Wow. He's got a 99 stuff there. Did he not have five star weak foot? Oh, wow. I swear he used to have five star weak foot. Okay. But yeah, if my United guys get three wins in a row, I believe this card will be getting updated, which is obviously huge. Um, who else? Let's have a look at Fabinho. I reckon Fabinho might be like 500k. I'm not sure on his price. He, oh, he's way cheaper. Okay. I think he might be 500k. Oh, wow. Is he not even on the market? He is. He's actually way cheaper. Once he gets, hopefully, an upgrade, that card's going to be great for um obviously with the pace there so yeah that's awesome javier though updated 
the um, the headliner content. Right, here we go. So, yeah. We have some news from EA. These are permanently upgraded with the potential for further upgrades based on individual and team performances throughout the 2021 season. Right, this is pretty important, guys. So I'm going to show you guys this right now, see if uh, this works. There you go. So as you guys can see, um, we shall have a look at this. So um, that this is actually big news. Yeah, this is this is big news. Right. Okay. Um they're set to write the headlines in 2021 thanks to their incredible form, glimpses of potential under a new manager, operating a new system or position, or return from the treatment table. Foot 21 headliners celebrates these players with special, unique, dynamic items that are permanently upgraded with the potential to be further upgraded. Okay. Um, okay, so at the launch of the event, the headliners player item is released at one informal grade higher than their last uh, qualifying performance based on inform team of the week man of the match hero team of the group stage item or their base item each time a headliner gets a performance based in form the headline item will also receive an inform upgrade this ensures that the headline item will always stay one inform ahead for the oh wow so if fabinho gets like yeah an inform like again then his headliner card would go to 90 wouldn't it if his inform is 89 that's huge um Okay, so is there the three wins thing? Okay, so only domestic league fixtures count towards the win upgrade for these cards as well. Um, domestic cup UEFA competitions and international fixtures do not count. So it's got to be like league wins. Okay, so the winning streak for each club starts from the launch headliner. So I think it's three. Yeah, got it. So a headliners card will be upgraded every Wednesday as well. Um, I'm not sure if it says there about three wins. I don't think it does. Yeah, you think you forgot about that. I think it's three wins. It doesn't say there though, but yeah. Guys, this is the brand new headliner promo. What are your thoughts on this? Anything that EA could have improved to this promo, do let me know. Have a special day. Which headliner should I maybe buy for my main team? Let me know. Maybe Fabinho. You never know. It could be cracked at centre-back. Have a special day and take care.